Hey folks, welcome back to the kitchen. If you can't tell from my festive costume, happy World Egg Day. Get it? Because I'm bald like the top of an egg. Anyways, it's the perfect holiday to celebrate the hard work of Canadian egg farmers across the country. It's Thanksgiving too, so I've partnered with Egg Farmers of Canada to bring you this sponsor video to take the very best flavors of Thanksgiving, like sausage stuffing, put them into a mac and cheese, bake it off, Bob's your uncle. Now my twist on this mac and cheese includes, drum roll please, fresh, high quality Canadian eggs. I'm gonna take this mac and cheese to the next level by actually baking eggs directly into the dish. They're always fresh, full of flavor, and produced by Canadian families for Canadian families. So grab a fork, let's start cracking. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is start with the sausage stuffing. We have turkey sausage here. I have my pan already heated with a little bit of oil. You wanna make sure you hear that sizzle so the pan is nice and hot. All right, so the sausage is where we want it. We're gonna turn the heat down. We're gonna transfer the meat to a side bowl. Get all those little crispy bits off. Now take a knob of butter, a quarter cup of butter. Get it melted in that pan. It'll start to caramelize. It'll take the beautiful turkey sausage flavor off the pan. Once it's fully melted, we're then gonna take our celery, our onions, our carrots, garlic, and we're gonna toss it in. Now we're gonna take our, our veg, toss it in, push it around, allow it to cook down, give it a good mix. Make sure all the carrots and celery and onions start to grab that rich butter flavor. We're gonna add our garlic. You just want it to soften get nice and tender before we add the turkey meat back in. It's also really important to keep stirring it at this point so your, your onions and your garlic specifically don't burn on you. All right, now my favorite part of this kind of process is adding the sage. It's finely chopped, we're gonna add it to this butter. This is what, to me, makes that classic Thanksgiving flavor come through. We're gonna add the turkey sausage back in, add a little bit of salt, all right, so the sausage stuffing is done. I'm gonna transfer it to this bowl, set it aside. Okay, so the sausage stuffing is done. Before we get to the cheese sauce, we're gonna make our pasta. I'm using pasta shells. What's great about these is the little pieces of cheese get nice and captured in those pockets. We're gonna cook it to al dente because it's gonna to continue to bake in the oven. We don't want it to be too soft the water to a boil, adding the pasta. All right, so we're gonna let the pasta cook. Every once in a while, I'll give it a little stir, make sure the shells aren't sticking together. But in the meantime, we're gonna make our cheese sauce. We're gonna melt about a quarter cup of butter. We have some white flour, we have some 3.25% milk, and Italian blended cheeses. The butter is melted, so now, we're gonna use a whisk and we're gonna gradually incorporate the flour into this. But again, make sure your temperature isn't too high so you don't burn it. We want it to be a nice paste, which it is, before we start to add the milk. And we're gonna slowly add the milk. Sauce is ready for cheese. We're gonna add it to the pot. That around, allow it to melt. Get nice and ooey gooey. Got a beautiful little cheese pull here, which is exactly what we're looking for. I'm gonna take a ladle of our starch water just to incorporate it in, thin it out a bit. A little pinch of salt just to give it a little more flavor. Okay, cheese sauce is done. I'm just gonna move it off the heat while we wait for our pasta to continue to boil. Uh, in the meantime, I might as well preheat the oven, 425 and I got it set on the middle rack. That's where we're gonna actually bake our pasta. All right, the pasta is ready to be transferred to the cheese sauce. And now we're gonna add our sausage stuffing. Any fat that's been residual at the bottom of the bowl, put it all in, it's all good stuff. And now, we stir. You wanna make sure everything gets fully coated. Now that we got that mixed together nicely, 
We're gonna add some ricotta cheese just to help it stay creamy when it's baking in the oven. The pasta's fully mixed together. Now I'm gonna transfer it to this baking dish. We're gonna put all the pasta in and then we're gonna make three holes so we can crack eggs right into it. Now it's time to crack some eggs. All right, oven's preheated. Eggs are cracked into our mac and cheese. Time to put this dish into the oven. We're gonna bake it off at 425. Okay, the macaroni and cheese is baked. I'm gonna remove it from the oven, sprinkle a little panko over top and throw it back in under the broiler for a few minutes just to get it nice and toasted. Well, there you have it, folks. The perfect twist on a Thanksgiving classic with the help of Egg Farmers of Canada who have sponsored this video. Well, now it's your turn. Celebrate World Egg Day by cooking up your favorite Thanksgiving egg dish and sharing it on social with the hashtag World Egg Day and let everyone know how much you love Canadian eggs and egg farmers. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and in the comments below, let me know what you're making for Thanksgiving. All right, get cracking. Go. Get it? Cracking.